Good evening, Chris has the night off. If you've been following our in-depth watchdog reporting on the Youngstown City School District, we told you about a rare meeting Saturday uh, for the Youngstown School Board. Madison was there this morning. Madison, what, what did we learn? Well, we know that this rare meeting was in direct response to our investigation where we uncovered the unchecked power and spending in the district. And Corey, we're talking about millions of dollars here that has continued to raise a lot of questions and the meeting brought quite the turnout. The board is officially demanding answers as to where exactly all the money went. It was a packed house with the teachers union, the treasurer, and a majority of Youngstown School Board members, but no superintendent. Educators made their presence known in a meeting scheduled specifically to address questionable spending of millions when the district was under CEO control. Many people looking to the school board and administration to take accountability. If the stuff that happened in the past is going to impact the present, impact the future, and you're in charge of the present, it's your job to take care of it. Brenda Kimball demands the district's treasurer and administration to justify the millions in federal COVID spending, all while Superintendent Justin Jennings was CEO. Among her questions, why was $5 million wasted on equipment? Why didn't the district seek competitive bids for services? And why doesn't the board already have these answers? We're in control now, so we need to know these things. We need to know these things. Kimball says this meeting was step one for the board to do its own digging before deciding if and how they will hold Jennings accountable for the wasting of funds. Once you're an administrator, regardless if you have a, a great evaluation or a poor evaluation, you can be removed, you know, with no cause. Meanwhile, Board President Tiffany Patterson's response has not changed since our investigation unfolded, admitting that Jennings projects that cost millions just didn't work out and says it's not worth dwelling over. I personally and the majority of the board are, is not really concerned about what was spent and the way it was spent. We talked about in executive session, so I can't really speak on it publicly until we hear back from state auditors. While it is uncertain of what the district faces moving forward, educators and board members say they are certain that they never want a CEO to take control again. If they misspent the ESSER funds and the federal government decides they want the money back, where's the money going to come from if you're already projecting a deficit? It's going to break the district and ruin the entire school system. All right, Madison, so what's the next step? So the administration says they are working on getting responses to all of Kimball's questions about the spending, and they do also plan on releasing records, Corey, about in regards to the due process of the competitive bidding process because there's been some concerns about that. And Board President Patterson says if answers do not come during the next board meeting, she will schedule another special meeting. And um, we did make an effort to reach out to Superintendent Justin Jennings today, and we have not heard back.